G'day Darren, it's nice to meet you. And finally meet the person that Shauna mentions sometimes. You know she's in here every two weeks getting her aligners. Yeah, I know. It must seem like she lives here because of that. But that's not my scene. I've never really been to the dentist. I think I've done pretty well without it. I haven't had any orthodontics either. So it must be some time since you've had some dental treatment, Darren. How long would that have been? Oh, it would be about ten years. That's got to be some sort of record, isn't it? Not really, but we do like to see people more regularly depending on the risk of different dental diseases. For some people that's fairly often, for others not so often. Anyhow, you're here now and the clock starts ticking for you. What has brought you in? Well, Sean has always been griping about my bad breath. Uh, and she also says that my gums aren't looking that great. I really can't tell the difference, but obviously you dentists know a lot about that sort of stuff. Sometimes those things are all linked together. For example, depending on how somebody cleans their teeth. Well, I try to brush every day, but it's hard when you're on a construction site. And then at the end of the day, I'm just too tired and I just crash into bed. And obviously, a couple of beers helps with that as well. Okay, Darren. Well, let's have a good look around and see what's happening. Okay, Darren, can you tell me if you're a right-hander? From the looks of things, it looks like you clean the left side well, but not so much the right side. Yeah, that's right. It's, it's much harder to do, um, especially if I've been using my right hand a lot. It gets sore after doing a lot of plastering. So what are you using in terms of a toothbrush? I don't know the brand, but it's a regular brush. Uh, I have had it for about a while now, about five months. And do you use dental floss or anything else to clean between your teeth? No, never. I do see it at the supermarkets though. And what about mouth rinses or any other special dental pastes or gels? <laughs> no, nothing fancy like that. I keep it pretty simple. Yes, okay then, there's a few things we need to talk about. This area of red gum around your front teeth on the right side, I'm going to probe around that very gently. Oh, okay, as long as you're going to be gentle. Oh. Yes, just as I thought, it bleeds quite a lot, even with a very gentle touch. Yeah, it bleeds when I brush it too. It's nothing new. It's been happening for the last couple of months. In fact, ever since I've started doing this latest job, I've noticed. As well, there are some hard deposits of a material called calculus on the bottom front teeth and around your upper molars. They look grainy or sandy. Well, I've never noticed those before. Well, that's probably because they're the same colour as tooth structure. So what causes it? Is it something I should be worried about? Well, with inflamed gums, if we remove all the plaque and calculus here with some very good professional cleaning, but then it's up to you to keep everything clean after that. So like taking the barnacles off a boat? Well, that's one way of putting it, I guess. We can clean up all the hard stuff that can't be brushed away, but after that it's up to you to take care of it at home or at work. 